everybody, I hope that you are well. Welcome back or welcome to Elderflower Stitches. My name is Susie and this is my YouTube channel all about my knitting and sewing and all the lovely things in my shop. So today you are joining me for a shop update and I'm going to be talking you through all of the yarns that are available in my shop right now and um, the yarns and collection of bits that are available for a little while. They are from my Snow at the Emporium collection, which I did for the Yorkshire Yarn Fest back in January. But I realized that was all on Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram, you may have missed it. And so I'm re-releasing it for a little while for anyone who is not on Instagram and missed out. And then I'm going to talk to you about advent calendars at the end. Very exciting. So I'm not going to do too much kind of chatting and update stuff today about kind of me and my knitting and sewing and things because I'm planning to do a bit more of a vloggy video maybe next week. So I'll keep it for then and I'll just keep this one kind of about shop stuff. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. So it's the 21st of February today. It's sunny, it's still blue sky. You may be able to hear some birds singing. <laughs> um, I've got the windows open, the back doors open, bee is out in the garden, and it's just lovely. This is the first day that I haven't worn tights in a really long time, and I just feel, I feel free and easy and breezy and relaxed, and it's so nice. And it just makes me so excited for spring and summer. Yay. Right, let's talk yarn. Okay, so I'm very excited about this collection because it's so me. <laughs> it's so like my palette of colours and I just, yeah, really like all of these. Um, and they're very much, very much the kind of palette that we've used in decorating our house. Like very neutral, very calming very soothing colours and these all featured in my 2020 advent calendar and I had high hopes of releasing these skeins each day that a colourway was opened in the advent calendar but for those of you who don't know I was in my first trimester of pregnancy during advent <laughs> and there was I stopped vlogmas and just was exhausted so there was no way I was I was going to keep up with like updating the shop and things so that didn't happen but I'm releasing them now um, just a little bit later than planned. So there are five colours all available in three colourways so I'll kind of explain that as I go through. So the first of the five colours is Vintage Lace which was a colour that I featured last year um, in my shop and I was knitting my Birds of a Feather shawl with it which I will link below um, the podcast where I show myself um, not making it but you know show it in progress so you can see how the yarn looks dyed up um and the first one is uh, vintage lace tonal I'm just gonna check that that's focusing so this is like a really pretty pastel creamy ivory color and it's mostly a really pale delicate color but there are some like little kind of splashes of richer color in there as well um and then, so this is the tonal, and then Vintage Lace Smudge is slightly more variegated, which hopefully is showing up. There's a little bit more contrast um, on there. And then finally, Vintage Lace Ombre. And this is much more contrast, there's much more contrast in this, so you've got some much darker parts, and they kind of fade from like light to dark, back to light again and then there are some sections that are undyed like this part here so a really beautiful trio that you could have together and work really nicely as a fade or you can get them individually up to you so that's vintage lace next up very appropriately for today because it's lovely and sunny outside this is buttercup and Buttercup is like a really soft, warm, sunny yellow. 
and this again is the tonal colorway so oh it's fluff on there um so it's really light it's not a flat one color like if you were to buy um a sort of one color acrylic yarn in the shop this is still more lights and dark bits but perhaps less contrast and quite subtle differences between the two i might show you next to um vintage lace so you can see so this is like a, a creamier color and then the buttercup is definitely more yellow hopefully that helps to see the contrast and then we have buttercup in smudge so that's the variegated colorway and then buttercup in ombre that lovely contrast of the brighter more saturated parts and then there they are as a trio sorry i'm like it looks like I'm hiding my head. I'm trying to make sure it focuses on the yarn and not me. And also trying to watch in the mirror behind to make sure it's focusing nicely for you. Well, I should say these are all on super sock. They are ready to ship. So I'm not dyeing them up on other bases at the moment. That might be something I do later in the year. But for now, these are just all available on super sock, which is my... Um, 75, 25, super wash merino and nylon, um, 425 meters. So it's a really nice high twist, um, fingering weight yarn. Lovely for socks and shawls or held together with some mohair or um, suri to make a cowl or a hat, that kind of thing. Um, and then we have salted caramel. So this is salted caramel tonal which is like a a sort of pinky brown i would say almost a putty color um a very warm brown caramel <laughs> um so in the tonal colorway again like some slight uh slight differences in color but not full variegation and then this is salted caramel smudge so you can see a bit more variegation there between the different shades. And then again in ombre. And then a nice like rich contrast there. This color, so nice. It's kind of like a mink color, really pretty. I always say things like that and then I'm like, I shouldn't say that my own yarn is pretty. Is that really rude? <laughs> and then we have Walnut Whip, which is a slightly more kind of ashy grey brown. If I show you the two together. So this one is salted caramel. You can see there it's a lot warmer, a lot kind of um, pinkier brown, whereas this is a much more kind of ashy, chocolatey brown. So the tonal, which has got some nice differences in colour there, some sort of splashing effects and then the smudge which has some like contrast between like undyed and dyed sections um, but not too strong on the contrast and then ombre love this, the contrast between the two is so nice and then finally, in the full skeins, we have Misty Morning, which is a really nice, cool grey. This is the tonal. And then we have Smudge. And Ombre. And that's those as a trio. So the way that these were knit up, the tonal you would get very much, um, not completely, like I said, not one flat colour, but it would be more, um, what's the word, more one colour than contrast, if that makes sense. The variegated um, smudge colourway will go from light to dark, light to dark with some um, more 
saturated kind of splashes in there and then the ombre will move more definitively from um, sort of an undyed section to a light section to a richer section and back to light and then undyed again so you have a more consistent pattern with the ombre. If you were knitting something small with the ombre like baby socks or fingers um, on gloves that kind of thing you would almost get a stripey effect obviously depending on needle size and if you're holding it together with another yarn that kind of thing will um, affect how it knits up but if you were then knitting a bigger project like a sweater you would get like a stretch of one shade and then a stretch of the other which is um which looks really nice um I'm trying to think adriella who is on instagram um has been knitting her advent calendar into a sweater which looks completely gorgeous um, and the effect of the different colorways is so pretty and they fade really nicely into each other so um, that looks lovely and thank you again Adriella for choosing my yarn because your jumper looks amazing. So in addition to the full skeins I'm also introducing them as mini bundles. So here is the tonal and I'm calling this the delicate neutrals mini bundle. So you've got all five colours there, you've got Vintage Lace, Buttercup, Salted Caramel, Walnut Whip and Misty Morning, all in the tonal um, colourway. So these are also Super Sock, but they're Super Sock Minis, so they are 4 ply yarn, 75-25 again, um, and you get how many meters? 75 meters per 20 grams, I think. 425 divided by 5. 85, 85 meters. Um, okay, and then we have the same colorways again, but in the smudge. And this is um, really nice if you're wanting kind of just a little mixture of some variegated minis. You can see all five colors there. So we've got vintage lace, buttercup, Salted Caramel in the middle, Walnut Whip and Misty Morning. They look yummy together. <laughs> they look really pretty. And again, all five, but this time in the ombre colourway. So you can see that nice contrast there. All five colours again. So, loads of choice in the Delicate Neutrals colourways and um yeah hope that you like those so you can get them as individual full skeins or a trio of the three colorways in one color um or you can pick up the little minis bundles um i don't have a huge amount of the minis bundles because that was just how much i had dyed up and ready to go but with the full skeins there's a fair amount i don't know if you can see behind me there we go. Those shelves are all full of delicate neutrals, so I've um, got a fair amount of the full skeins if you're after those. So hopefully if you're after a sweater quantity or something, um, I've got enough in the shop for you. Oh. Right, okay. Next up then is the Snow at the Emporium collection. I don't have all of the yarns and bags and things to show you can show you the bag actually um, because I did the collection back in January and then I've sent out the orders now and I included my samples in what I sent out because I just take a picture with take a picture of them and then put them on the shelf so it's not like they're samples that are being handled in a shop um, so they've all gone, <laughs> um, but I'm going to be dying them up again. And I have saved the footage from my IGTV live, and I will be uploading that into this video. So you can watch the footage of me being super nervous because it was my first ever IGTV live. Um, and obviously I'm interacting with people who are sending in comments whilst the live is going on. So that might be a bit confusing. <laughs> um, the, but yeah, it's old footage back from January, but hopefully it's helpful because you can see all of the 
Yarn colourways and um, progress keeper sets and things, but I'm going to show you the bag now because I have got one of these um, handy. So this is the bag from the Snow at the Emporium collection. It's Liberty, as ever. I love Liberty. <laughs> this is from the the Emporium collection, and this fabric is called Merchant's Tree, and you can actually see the branches of the tree really beautiful fabric lots of gorgeous colors going on there um and get a little label on there as always drawstring opening it's a nice oblong base um this is probably the most satisfying part of making the bags is pressing them down nice and smooth <laughs> look at that i love a crisp corner can you tell <laughs> i love like pressing them ready to go in there go in their bags and then when you pop out the base it stands up nicely on its own like so um and you've got pockets in there as normal so there's four pockets on the back you've got a medium and then a smaller one and then like two skinny ones for a pen and spare hooks crochet hooks and knitting needles that kind of thing so that's the bag and then all of the yarn colourways as you'll see they all coordinate with the bag so they've all got these kind of blues and greens and like this rich kind of ochre golden yellow um working throughout them which i'm really pleased with how they've turned out they look really lovely um and there's also a choice of three different progress keeper sets I've only got two colourways here that I can show you. I can just show you how they come packaged, which hopefully is helpful. So this is how they come packaged. A little, um, these are semi-precious stones. We've got um, Amazonite. And then the little stitch markers, the beads on those are opaque check glass. They are so delicate and beautiful on a little rose gold findings these are handmade the um i make those myself and then on a little rose gold hoop one of my little cards i stitch them on <laughs> obviously change the needle because you know sewing paper <laughs> and then i also have uh the same like this one it is in like an aquamarine it's this lovely blue and again with the sweet check glass beads so that's, um, there's also like a, uh, it's not amber, golden citrine uh, progress keeper set as well, but I haven't got a spare one of those because that went as well. Um, but yeah, I'll pop in the footage now from the IGTV, which hopefully is helpful. And then I will come back after that and talk to you all about advents. Hi everyone. Oh my goodness. So many people. Wow. Hello. Right, I'm going to start by introducing myself in case you haven't met me before. Um, my name is Susie from Elderflower Stitches. I started Elderflower Stitches back in August 2019. Um, it's been a really exciting journey and um, now I'm so proud to have lots of lovely knitting friends online and um, for my yarns and bags it's been super popular and really well loved. So really exciting hello hello um so i picked out this beautiful colorway uh, this beautiful fabric from liberty what i like to do when i make a collection is have a bag fabric and some yarns and some progress keeper that oh wow it's snowing in leicester yeah, that's so exciting I'm so jealous it's just drizzly and gray here <laughs> hi hello um so yeah i like to have everything kind of fits together so a fabric and I always like to go with Liberty just because they're so gorgeous and lovely quality. Um, and then some yarn colourways that all fit together and um, progress keepers that all sort of fit in the collection as well. So this gorgeous fabric is the one that I chose for the Snow collection and it's from a new Liberty collection called The Emporium. And this fabric is actually called, hello, this fabric is actually called The Merchant's Tree. And you can actually see some like branches on there just love <laughs> just love all of the beautiful colorways in there and it just made me think of like blue sky that like golden sunset on a snow day oh it's snowing in the northwest as well it's so amazing hello hi 
Um, so yeah, I picked out this bag fabric, made it in the same way that I make all of my pro project bags now. So it's a nice big bag, nice square base. And inside we've got a lovely uh, pocket that runs all across the back there and it's divided. So you've got like a medium one here. This is good for things like your uh, needle gauge, little notebook. And then you've got a slightly smaller pocket there. And then two narrow pockets here that are just good size for things like pens, pencils, spare hooks, uh, crochet hooks for me because I'm always dropping my stitches. Hello, hiya. Um, so yeah, I always pop a crochet hook in mine because I'm always dropping my stitches and it's great for picking them back up again. So then the yarn colourways pick out the colours from the bag fabric. So we have, well there's five colourways that come in the bundle and you can get um, either a little bundle of five minis like that on Super Sock or on Super DK. They're the two main bases that I do. Oh, thank you, lovely hearts, that's so kind of you. Um, so they come as minis or you can do them as a full bundle of five skeins. I'll show you each colourway in more detail as well. Okay, so let's start with let's start with this one. So it's quite a blue collection, and this one is called Blue Skies. This is a beautiful tonal, so it's quite a light base, but there's some darker, darker little splashes and bits peeking through there. And that's available on Super Sock and Super DK. These little birdies on my um, <laughs> I felt like they had to join us for our snow day. Um, these are from At The Patch Creations, lovely, they do really sweet um, needle felting. So then we have this one which is called Frozen Lake. This is another blue one but there's some white on there as well and some gorgeous speckling. Oh thank you so much, some lovely speckling of um, greens and yellows there. Hi, oh thank you so much. Um, inspired by when you have a like, beautiful frozen lake on a snow day and you've got the blue sun reflecting and the lovely sunshine, blue sun? <laughs> the blue sky and the lovely yellow sun and the green trees and it's all reflecting on the lake. So that's frozen lake. Lovely blue one. And this one is really different for me. I normally do a lot of pe pinks and peaches. And this is a greeny one. And this is called um, Spring Bulb Shoots. So it made me think of, like, we don't get particularly heavy snow here. So when we do, hello, we normally have um, some of the grass is still peeking through. And maybe in January, February, we might have a few kind of snowdrops peeking through. So some nice, gorgeous greens on there. Still with some blues, I wanted to keep the blue kind of running through all of them really. And some yellows, maybe some early daffodils poking through there. <laughs> um, and then we have got, this one's really different for me. Um, I really enjoyed mixing this up actually, because like I said, I normally do a lot of pinks and peaches. So this was really fun to mix up a really different colorway. It's kind of like an ochre and it's called Late Afternoon Sun. And it just, I wanted to capture that like really golden light that you get um, on a snow day in the afternoon, that sun, and it's, it's like really low and um, really gorgeous. So this is Late Afternoon Sun. Again, some nice blue speckles and green speckles coming through there, just to kind of bring the whole collection together. I think this might be my favourite one we've got here. So we've got some blues, some yellows, some, um, some nice darker blue splashes as well there. Really beautiful. The Golden Owl, oh my gosh that's a lovely name. Oh yes, of course the Golden Owl for like taking photos. Oh, I should have called it Golden Owl, shouldn't I? <laughs> there we go. And there's also one more colourway that's not in the mini bundles and not in the full skein bundles, but is just um, a white base and then speckling, <laughs> and then just speckling from all of the colours. So all of the dyes that I used to create the collection, I just speckled onto 
one base so if you like um, sort of whiter yarns with more just speckly colours then that's that's probably the one for you but that one's not in the um, mini bundle or the bundle with the full skeins in it's just on its own so then to finish off the collection I always love to make some little progress keeper sets that's actually how I started off back in August 2019 <laughs> was doing little progress keeper sets and um, little rose gold charms and things and um, hello if, if you remember from all the way back then um, it seems like a hugely long time ago now <laughs> um, but I've sort of enjoyed including things like semi-precious stones and glass beads and um, using that to capture lots of different colourways. So I picked out some semi-precious stones which go with the colours. So we've got a lovely, lovely green, <laughs> I'm wobbling so much, I'm so nervous. Um, we've got this lovely green um, Amazonite. The name of the yarn not in the bundle, this one is just called um, Snow Speckles. This one here. That's not in the bundle yet. So we've got a green Amazonite and um, a golden citrine. So beautiful, so which really goes nicely with the um, afternoon sun. And then a lovely blue aquamarine. So you can get these individually or they can come as a little trio of progress keepers as a little set that come together like that i just think they look so pretty so you get four stitch markers with the progress keeper and the stitch marker has got beautiful um opaque check glass beads on it as well so they're really really pretty all fit together nicely and they come on this little hoop so that is the snow at the emporium collection got the project bag, yarn bundles, minis and um, progress keepers that will go together nicely so hopefully you like that. And then I've got two other things that are in my shop at the moment. Um, so I have been doing like a kind of, not a monthly box but for special occasions I've been doing things like a Valentine's box and um, oh thank you so much. Um, I have got a Mother's Day box, we have Mother's Day in, in March here in the UK, and um, an Easter box. So I thought what I can do is show you what's in the Valentine's box, and then, um, and then if you were interested in the Easter box or the Mother's Day box, you have a bit of an idea of what comes in the box. So no spoilers just yet. <laughs> I'll show you, there are two different options for the boxes. You can have them with or without a bag. And then you can also choose from a full skein or minis and sock or DK. So this is the, this is the Valentine's box. You get your mystery yarn with the little tag there. And there's a little explanation of a colourway just to tease you before you open it. And then Progress Keeper set and some little treats in that one. If you choose to go for one with the bag, comes in a slightly larger box. Now there is a bit of a spoiler here, so if you have a Valentine's box and you don't want to see the bag, then cover your eyes. So this is the Valentine's 2021 box with this beautiful bag. Also Liberty, it's the, um, it's the Regent Rose, also from the Emporium. Thank you so much. Again, you've got your yarn there, a nice label, Progress Keeper set, and of course some nice uh, treats in there as well. So that's what comes in the box. So there's a Mother's Day box available and an Easter box. And um, that's everything that's in my shop at the moment. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching me nervously talk about my Snow at the Emporium collection. I think I snipped a few bits out because I was just kind of interacting and chatting with people who were there. But hopefully it was helpful to see all of the yarn colourways. Um, so they're all available on Super Sock and Super DK. All of the info about them is available on the listing. 
um, on the, my Etsy shop. So hopefully that was helpful. So Advents, it's February <laughs> and we're already talking about Advents. I had messages last month, which was, I'm just so flattered that people are so keen to have my Advent calendar that they're messaging me almost a year in advance. So thank you so much if you are one of the people who has gone in touch for Advents. I'm so, I'm so touched and so flattered. So yes, I will be doing Advents this year. Um, as you may already know, or you may have picked up on by now, I'm expecting my first baby and it's due this summer, or our baby, me and my husband. Um, so that's really exciting, but summertime is normally when most yarn dyers are working busily on advents. So <laughs> that does kind of affect how advents will work this year. I'm hoping that by then, lockdown restrictions will be lifted and my mum will be able to come and help either with me and the baby or with the shop stuff um, in quite a kind of organised way. Last year she came to help out um, and my husband helped and my husband's family because we lived with them and when uh, restrictions weren't super tight we were able to all <laughs> just like work on them together but um, I'm hoping it will be a bit more of a, um, like a planned out team approach this year. It also means I probably can't make as many as I did last year. So I am going to, I have set up an email account specifically for Advents. And if you are interested in having an Advent, then I will ask you to send an email and I will get in touch with you before they go live and give you some notice so that if you're really keen to get one, you know exactly when they're going on sale and you're able to pick one up. So I don't want anyone to be disappointed, um, but also I need to bear in mind that it's going to be a busy summer. Um, yes, so let's talk about the advent then. So as the colorways that you saw at the beginning from the Delicate Neutrals, they came from last year's advent. Um, not all of the advent colourways are available. I just picked a, a, a kind of select few that went really nicely together. I did last year's as a fade and I will probably make it some kind of fade again this year. However, I think I want to in, in bring in a few more colours because this year's was very much kind of, last year's was very much just sort of neutrals. And I think it would be nice to bring in some pastels, maybe some frosty blues and minty greens and that kind of thing. But I don't want to give away too much at the moment. Um, but I can guarantee you that all colourways will be subtle, calming <laughs> pastels. So if that's what you're after, um, that's what I will be doing. I will have the same options as last year. So... You can have um, sock as your base or DK as your base. And then I will also have the same options in terms of what comes in your advent. So you can have 24, 20 gram minis. You have the option to add in a full skein or a bag or both. The bag this year will be um, the same shape and kind of style as the bag I've just shown you from the Snow at the Emporium collection and not the round base that I had last year. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I will also have a payment plan available that was really popular last year and I think made it more inclusive for people. So I will be doing that again. The, the first listings will go live in April and you'll have a choice to either pay your first instalment or your whole advent. And then you'll pay an instalment for the following three months. So there'll be four instalments altogether. So what you pay in the first listing will be a quarter of what the advent will cost. And then it will be the same for the following three months. I do add on like a little admin fee when I'm doing it by instalments just because it is a bit of admin work and organisation for me to keep track of who's paid what. Um, the only difference this year is your payment, whether that's for the whole advent or just an instalment, will not include shipping. 
I will um, calculate how much the shipping will be when it's ready to ship. So I will email you maybe a week before it's ready to ship and say, okay, your advent is ready to go. This is how much it costs to get to you, standard, tracked, signed, and then you can choose which shipping option you want. That's because last year, people paid their shipping with the listing at the very beginning of the year in like April, and then by September when I was shipping them, costs had more than doubled. And I felt like that was my responsibility, took it on the chin, but um, cost me a lot of money and um, I don't want to be in that position this year. I also don't want to overcharge if shipping goes down or whatever. And it also means that you don't have to decide in April whether you want tracked and signed or you want standard or it gives us a bit of a chance to make that decision nearer the time. So payment, if you're doing it by instalments, it will be April, May, June, July. And then I will probably get in touch with you sometime during August or September, depending on how far away you are, um, to organise paying for your shipping and then posting it off to you. I hope that that all makes sense. I feel like that was very, <laughs> that was very like businessy, but those are the main questions that people would ask about advents so hopefully it's helpful to have those answered now if you have any other questions about advents feel free to pop me a message um, but otherwise if you just want to be on the waiting list and you want to know when they are being released then you need to email me and the email address is elderfloweradvents at gmail.com elderflowerdvents all one word all lowercase i will write it in the description box below but that is the email address. Just email me and say you're interested in an advent and I will email you back a little questionnaire so I know what it is that you're after. Um, and it gives me a good idea of how many to aim for. <laughs> um, and then I can kind of plan out what that will look like and how we'll manage that with a little baby. <laughs> it's doable um, and hopefully because I start my maternity leave, Shortly after Easter, I have quite a few months before the baby arrives. I can get a lot of Advent work done then, but obviously I need to have taken the first payments to be able to buy the yarn to dye up and start getting ready. So I might even be able to get all the yarn dyed up before baby arrives and then just be packing and making bags and things. But we'll, we will see. <laughs> I'm sure I will have an army of keen helpers around me who want to um, cuddle the baby whilst I'm busy working or do shop things for me. So we'll work it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that that is everything. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I hope that you're enjoying all the things that we have got in the shop at the moment. And I'm looking forward to releasing some nice spring themed colors very soon. I may have a few spare Mother's Day slash March boxes and Easter slash April boxes because I always die up a few spares when I'm making the ones that have been ordered. So if you're keen to grab one of those last minute then keep an eye on the shop and I will, uh, yeah, I will pop them in there if we have a few spares. And I think that's everything. Okay. Well, I hope that you keep well. I will see you soon for a little vlog where I'll just kind of chat bit more generally and um, maybe talk house stuff and baby stuff and what we've bought and what we're doing and nursery and all of that good stuff and garden because we've got things going on in the garden now. I can even have a little bit of footage from the allotment the other day. So yeah, lots of nice things to share with you and I will pop a vlog up very, very soon. But in the meantime, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.